Greetings friends, today I'm going to show you the differences in shooting between NBA 2K24 and NBA Live 19. And so there are some similarities between the two, but they're also quite different as well for a couple different reasons. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so for many years, NBA 2K has always had an indicator to let you know if your shot was good or not, whether it was excellent release or late or early, etc. Then they added the green release portion to this feature, which has become a staple of sorts in the NBA 2K community. But for many of those years, when the green release part came out, you were still able to hit shots even if you didn't get a green release. And same with the past 2Ks as well, you didn't have to get excellent to make shots. Um, every shot. Then in the more recent 2Ks, you do need to get a green release in order to make your shots. If you don't get a green release, you will miss your shots. And so this has become known as green or miss. And so that is what it is now. And that's what it is in NBA 2K24 right now um, as we speak. So if you don't get a green, your shot's going to miss automatically every single time. So um, that's the thing about that. And so that is one major difference. Uh, in NBA 2K24 versus a game like NBA Live 19, which we'll get into, um, but yeah, but NBA 2K24 and NBA 2K23 is when you start to kind of see that that green or miss aspect of 2K, which, whereas in the past, you were still able to knock down shots even if you didn't get that excellent release. So that's one huge difference right there. Another thing that I wanted to point out about NBA 2K24 when it comes to shooting is the fact that you have a whole lot of animations to choose from for your jump shots, including Beast Mag Biombo, my friend. I don't know why you had to say that in a Chicago accent, but I don't know, it just kind of rolls off the tongue in a Chicago accent, so you guys say it like that. But, but there's a whole lot of different animations you can choose from, a lot of set animations, that is. Um, and they added a whole lot of them in 2K24, a whole lot of them compared to 2K23. Um, and so, another thing you could do too is go over to the Jump Shot Creator and create your own Jump Shot, which is super, super popular. And just, just type something. And then you can go and just select your upper release, your upper release 2, and then you can kind of blend those two together and your release speed and everything else. Oh yeah, and then the lower uh, and base 2. So you can combine these two and can create your own perfect Jump Shot animation. So, really, really nice to have. So you got your base animations. And then you got the ones, or you got the, the jump shot creator where you could go and kind of just make the shot how you want, which is a very popular thing to do is a lot of people just kind of create their own jump shots, but um, there's plenty of good uh, set animations to choose from as well. All right, so now let's talk about NBA Live 19. So there's a few things to keep in mind when it comes to shooting in NBA Live 19 versus NBA 2K24. But the first thing I want to show you is that, as we mentioned, in NBA 2K24 and 2K23 for that matter, you can only hit your shots if you get the green release, the excellent release. In NBA Live 19, you don't have to get the excellent release to knock down your jumpers. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and try to see if we could get one uh, without getting the green here. Let's see. And then there you go. <laughs> there you go. So, so the case in point right there. So you can knock down some shots even if you don't get the green release in NBA Live 19. So that is one major difference in the gameplay anyway between Live 19 and uh, 2K24. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of the other things that I wanted to mention too. And we talked about animations in NBA 2K24, so I'm going to bring that up as well in NBA Live 19. But there's something else that I want to bring up first. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to mention about shooting in NBA Live 19 is that what type of player that you choose will have an effect on your shooting. And so Choosing your player type here, you can choose your guard, wing, or big. So let's go to big, and then you have your play style. And so you have stretch big, rim protector, and post anchor. So the thing that you will notice here is on the, the right side of your screen, you'll see starting skills and locked skills. So your starting skills can be upgraded right away. So in this case, being a stretch big, the main skill that you have at the top, or the main two skills you have is three-point shooting and mid-range shooting. So you can upgrade those right away. I um, mean, then the lock skills are rebounding, post moves, and inside shot. And so you can unlock those by playing games and things like that, and uh, getting gaining XP and all that good stuff. And then when you get, you know, when you have those unlocked, then you can go and upgrade those skills. And so choosing a certain archetype will have an effect on your shooting because, well, if you go with something that doesn't have shooting as a starting skill, then you can still be a decent shooter, but you won't 
we won't be able to have, uh, you know, we won't be able to upgrade that shooting right away. Um, so things like that. So as obviously if you go with different archetypes, then it's like post moves, inside shot, dunk, shot block, rebounding, shot block, dunk, rebounding, post move, post defense. So, so you know, that's something to keep in mind. Um, that's you know, when you are playing NBA Live 19 and you're trying to focus on shooting and things like that. So um, if you want to make shooting into a priority, then yeah, it's a good idea to uh, choose an archetype that you feel is going to be best for your shooting abilities and more than likely that's going to be a shooting type of archetype like a stretch big or something like that or a three level score if you're like a, a small forward or a guard or something like that so um and things like that and so that's just the one thing to kind of keep in mind that's the one big difference uh in nba live 19 versus nba 2k24 because at 2k24 you can you don't know, tweak your attributes any way you want when you create your character so you can kind of just do whatever you want, basically, and how you and tweak, tweak things the way you want, regardless of your uh, position and size and all that type of stuff. Um, of course, when you make your guy bigger in 2K, the you no know, your your three point rating is probably gonna go down lower, of course. But it's, you can still get it up to 78, 80, something like that, whatever. It depends on your wingspan and your height and things like that. So, but here it's a lot more like set, you know, if that makes sense. So it's like, okay, you know, you want to be a shooter? Okay, stretch big, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, and then even a post anchor, because I have had a post anchor before, a post anchor can kind of shoot a little bit as well, but you don't see that as uh, one of the primary skill sets. Uh, but you can shoot a little bit as a post anchor. Rim protector, not so much, uh, but yeah. So, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, also, a nice thing about NBA Live 19 is that as you upgrade your attributes, you can unlock new animations that way as well. So I have a 95 three-point shot on my stretch big here, and then you can see, as you can see, there's like a like a little like timeline type of thing here, where as you level up your attribute, then you unlock new gear and upgrades and jump shot animations. And so you got Chris Asperzingis, you got Jason Tatum, and you have Paul Gasol over here and so forth and so yeah so that's another way to go and get jump shot animations and things like that and other re rewards along the way as well you know shoes and whatnot and i also wanted to point out too because uh, i forgot to mention this earlier is the icon skill so um as we mentioned like there is a player that's representative of certain archetypes so we go to view icon path and so this is the dirk nowitzki uh, the Dirk Nowitzki uh, archetype, so the marksman, and so you can unlock rewards here as you level up and get your XP and things like that. And then you have an icon skill, so you have shoot off the dribble. Uh, they shoot off the dribble attribute, uh, which is exclusive to Dirk's archetype. And then you can also swap the the archetype too. Um, so since you're a stretch big, you have Dirk, and then you have Carl Anthony Towns. Those are the two guys representing the stretch big category, the stretch big archetype. And it's the same thing with Cat. So, you know, Cat's got his his uh, icon path and there's different things you can unlock here. Um, a lot of his animations and his shoes and whatnot and things like that. Attribute boost, all that good stuff. And then his icon skill is, uh, the, uh, is uh, blocking. And then as you can see here, it says, blocking or successfully contesting a shot will grant you a boost to both mid-range and three-point shooting. And for Dirks, it's grabbing a rebound. So grabbing a rebound will grant you a powerful boost to uh, your three-point shooting accuracy. And so, and then you get the shoot off, shooting off the dribble uh, uh, icon skill, the attribute. So, and so, yeah. And so that's something else I wanted to point out too. I know it's kind of a lot, it's kind of all over the place. So <laughs> it's a little confusing at times, but yeah. But that's how it works though. But it's nice though. You could go in. Uh, you have two paths. You got more. You have multiple paths because when you upgrade your attributes, you get rewards. You upgrade your uh, uh, icon path, and you get rewards. Uh, uh, you know from that archetype, and so you, you could net a lot of rewards and animations and shoes and a lot of other things just by you know playing the games and build and building up your character. So it's, it's really nice. You know, I mean, it's, they're just kind of throwing stuff at you. As you're getting better at the game and leveling up your 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 uh, baller and all that good stuff, so so yeah, that's something I would definitely want to point out for sure. But yeah, yeah, but uh, in the case of the stretch big, these are the attributes that you can upgrade. And so yeah, some of these had some of these had, yeah, I had to unlock, of course. 
Um, cause it was like, uh, rebounding, post moves, and inside shots were the ones that were unlocked. Or, I mean, locked, I mean. Mid-range and three-point shot were already unlocked, so I was able to upgrade those, um, you know, already. You know, mid-range, I only got a 79, but <laughs> I just want to focus on my three-point shot, so. So my mid-range shot is still, you know, only 79. Uh, cause I take a lot, I take a lot more threes than mid-range shots, so. Uh, but yeah. And then rebounding, post moves, and inside shot were the ones that were locked, so. And of course you have the icon skill here and so yeah so that's that's another thing i wanted to mention here too like i said it's all pretty confusing but once you you know get it down and understand you say okay you get it now and you get rewarded along the way too so it's really really nice and this all has an effect on uh, your shooting uh, especially if you choose a shooting type of archetype so that's where it matters that's where it matters because you get to you know because we're talking about the jump shot animations and of course you have your shooting attributes here that you can upgrade and get rewarded for by upgrading and things like that so so yeah all right so now let's briefly talk about animations and so a lot of these jump shot animations you basically unlock at random through loot boxes as you're playing the game and leveling up and getting your xp up and things like that so um it, it's not like 2k where they're all basically available for free you can just you know get them or whatever so um you kind of you you just unlock these unlock these over time and so but there's a lot of different animations you can get and uh, for various players uh, both in the NBA and WNBA and um, another thing too is that even if you're a big you can still have a guard jump shot as well so you no know, so you could use unlock any of these uh, uh, jump shots and then use them for your character no matter what your build is in NBA Live 19 so uh, but yeah but that's something to keep in mind there too so you no know, it's all kind of at random through loop loop boxes loop crates and um, yeah, and then so you get your jump shot animations that way. Okay, so I thought it was important to also mention the old gen version of NBA 2K24 when it comes to shooting. And briefly, it's basically the same as the new gen version of 2K24, but it is easier to not knock down shots on the old gen version of NBA 2K24 versus the new gen version. So, um, and you can also knock down some shots even without greening them compared to new gen where you have to green or to miss so you can knock down some on occasion here on old gen even without greening so that's the main difference uh, other than that everything else is basically the same you have the same type of animations you could get there's also a jump shot creator and all that good stuff there so basically this basically the same but it is a little bit more forgiving on uh, old gen and a little bit easier to knock down shots except for that one uh, you did not see that you did not see that uh, erase that from your memory you did not see that miss shot you did not see that trust me it, it doesn't exist that shot exists. That was a real shot. That was real. That was real.